Hey everyone, how's it going? Just got the new up mox from Unparalleled Sports shipped in today. Let me get this uh, literature out of the way. So yeah, they just shipped this in today. They also threw in this pair of socks and a sticker. Pretty cool. These are the up mox. Yellow color. They're using Unparalleled Rubber, RH. Really hard stuff, stickiest stuff known to mankind. Wore it to the gym today. Doing some crack climbing, did some face climbing, felt pretty good. Um, I got these in a size 12 and a half. I normally wear a size 12 in the 510 Anasazi VCS. I bumped up to a 12 and a half just so I could wear these all day and so that I could crack climb a little more pain free than normal. Um, on my Anasazi, uh, the 510 Anasazi, I actually developed a little hole right here too, just from where. My fingers or my uh, toes were so scrunched up. I think it just dug a little hole through one of those too. But I think the main difference between the 510 moccasin and these is that they added in this rubber toe cap here. Um, I don't really know why, but when I was in the crack today at Sport Rock Alexandria, it felt a little secure. I don't really know what it's here for. But when I was talking to one of the up representatives online. I was asking about how much the shoe would stretch out. She told me that due to this rubber toe cap and due to the premium leather that they use on these shoes, the it won't stretch out as much as the 510 moccasin. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I felt they stretched out a little bit, but nothing too crazy. They also have this little backbone right here. I can't remember if the 510 moccasin had these. I remember talking to a friend once and he said he always had trouble heel hooking in the 510 moccasin. So I don't know if this will make it a little easier. It's uh, not sure how well that comes through on video, but it looks to be, I mean, it looks pretty sizable. It looks pretty nice. I don't know if, can you hear that? Go ahead and put these guys on for you real quick. Super easy. Shove your toes in. I got really long toes too. I mean, there's my pinky, there's my toe. Pretty big. I'm usually a street size, well, two different answers for that. Street size, my arch length is size 14, but my toe length is size 12. Uh, Lex from REI Tyson's Corner gave me the lowdown on that. Next time you're using a Brannock device, that's the device that measures your foot, there's a little slidey lever on the right side, and you can slide that up and down and measure your arch length. So you can play around with that, but you might have a different arch length than your toe length. That's important to know, so thank you, Lex, for giving me that information. That's what it looks like when it's on. Pretty comfortable. I'm pretty happy with them so far. On parallel sports. Uh, they're based out in Fullerton, California, I think. So if you're on the East Coast and trying to get them shipped to you, it might take a little while. Um, but yeah, pretty good shoe. If you have any questions, just uh, smash that subscribe button or write a comment or whatever. Thanks for watching.